Welcome everybody! It is Friday evening on the Elder Scrolls Online, and that means it is time for Live Luxury Showdown. Every Friday evening, we gather here in Cicero's Food and General Goods in Hollow City in Cold Harbor, and wait for Xenothran, the luxury furnisher, to show up here. He'll have some furnishings for us, rare and special furnishings that will only be available for this weekend, and then they'll be gone for another year. So, and we have three contestants who are each going to build something fun and creative out of nothing but what happens to be on the luxury vendor this weekend. Though, I may have a twist. I may have a twist this weekend. Zeno has just popped up. We're going to see what he has, and then I'll buy a bunch of them, put them in my primary residence, and our contestants will make something out of them. Oh, we have two new items this week. Two new items. Okay, so first of all, we do have our three repeats from last year. Banker sign, large banker sign, 12k. Actually, really like these signs quite a bit. Merchant sign, you know, trading is near my heart. So this merchant sign is beautiful. And the stable monster sign. I do have a lot of mounts. And, you know, if, if you have a stable, this tells people it's a stable because they can't tell that just based off of the horses in it. So, and then we have two new items this week. We have an outfit banner. You know, we actually don't have all that many really bright yellow furnishings that aren't Old Mary Dominion stuff. So, <laughs> I think I think this might actually be a really nice colorful piece for people. And then we have the small one as well. Now, I can tell it's going to be a challenge for our builders this week because... These are all animated, and they have to make something out of these, even though they're all animated. So I'm going to buy a bunch of each of these. I have some of these from last year. I think, you know, people, when they're building with these, are probably going to use these fairly interchangeably. So we're going to go with... Let's just go with 20 of each of the, the signs to build with. And then let's go with... You know, since they're new... We'll go with we'll go with thirty of each of the the bigger cents. It's probably too much to spend. Man, that's all gold. Okay, so we're gonna go with twenty of each of these. I actually have a few too many of these merchant signs, but that's okay. We'll we'll make it work. And then I have a twist. I have a twist. I did want to add a light source to this, so I have I have a little bit of a twist. We'll show that here in a sec. Wait, there are no- oh, there are new daily rewards out? Oh, there are. A Glowgill Guar. And a Monk Cap. Oh, and a New Life Festival Cap. Oh my gosh, I'll have to look at all these better. More thoroughly later. Those, those seem to be the big ones. Oh, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> For now, I gotta get a chicken. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna head to my... Primary, which happens to also be in Cold Harbor, where we have our live luxury showdown stadium. Fun choirs and holiday things this, this year. That'll be good. Lots of Telvar, too. Okay, going to my Cold Harbor surreal estate, where we have our showdown stadium. I'm going to place all the furnishings that we just purchased in here for our builders to work with. And then they will have 30 minutes to come up with something fun and creative using those. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be rough. It's going to be, it's going to be a tough week. Okay, we have Blind Guardian here. Hopefully our other builders are here. Devil Doggett is here. Great. And we have, hopefully our third shows up by the time I get these placed. Okay. So we have signs. We're going to place 20 of each of these. Oh, these are actually kind of big. These are going to be hard to work with because they have like a really weird placement. Like, like the circle is way up above here instead of like actually on the item. That will add to the complexity of the challenge this week. Okay, so 20 of each of the banker signs. We'll have 20 of each of the merchant signs. These do have a little bit of an audible sound to them, too, as they squeak back and forth, kind of on this rusty chain. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's gonna become more and more noticeable as I place more. Oh my gosh. And 20 of these stable master signs. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we have Ninja Monkey 0169 with the monstrous host. Thank you, Ninja Monkey. I'm Jay Hart Ellison. We are just starting into our live luxury showdown. And if you're if you've been with me here, go go follow Ninja Monkey. Amazing, amazing housing genius in ESO. And we are just getting ready with our live luxury showdown. So it's a quick build contest. We have our luxury furnishings from the weekend vendor here, and we're going to place these all in my stadium here, and our contestants are gonna have 30 minutes to make something out of these. And oh boy, this is gonna be a hard week. It's gonna be a hard week. They have, they have to build something fun and creative out of these signs. And then we also have the new Outfit banners. We have a large outfit banner, which isn't that large. That's what she said. <laughs> Hi, Ninja Monkey. Hi, Ninja Monkey. How you doing? Doing well. Been streaming all day, but that's fine. I noticed. You've been busy. I, What's going on? I know. Having fun with the event? Yes, I, I ran nine dungeons and actually leveled up a character so I could even do one. So that was... That's been fun. I got two pets today, though, so that was good. Which know. ones? The uh, the wolf and the dragon skeleton. I got I got the werewolf tracker pupper, and I got the dragon oh. skeleton. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, this is like a really small little banner, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the large one and the small ones. It makes me think that they're going to do the. Uh... The jewelry crafting banners next week. Yeah, I think I think so too. Wait, I, I do have a twist. I have a little twist this week. Just a little, little twist. So we like have a, like a lightning twist, or yeah. So we have the five items here. They're going to be fun to work with. And then I did want to add a bit of a light source to this. So our contestants are also going to have twenty of these Nord lamp posts to work with. It's kind of maybe something I could not quite hang a sign off of great great this will be this will be a challenge this will just add just adding layers and layers to it oh we might be missing our third contestant let me let me make sure let me message them man i feel like slow i don't know if it's actually lagging because of all the signages <laughs> you can see as I place these, it creates this kind of weird three-dimensional, like, kind of like pages of a book. Though you won't really be able to do that in your home. Okay, so we have... Okay, we're almost ready to start. Almost ready. We'll start... As soon as I make sure that our contestant is or is not here. Let me... Let me see. Oh no, they're not online. Oh no! Oh no. I hope they get here. I hope they get here. <laughs> Springy hotter. Squeak, 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 squeak. I know. Isn't that great? Okay. It looks like Stormahawk is going to have to fill. Okay. So we have our three builders. We'll be starting in one minute. Okay, they each have 20 of each square sign to work with, plus 30 of each outfit sign, plus 20 of the Nord lampposts. Is our third builder going to show up? I don't know. We're we're almost ready though. Oh wait, only, only subs can change your light. Yeah, sub subs can. Or if if you follow, or if you sub, or if you give bits, or if you donate, that will also do effects with my lights. Or like when you raid, like you, like when you hosted earlier, that that also did a big light effect. So do appreciate that. <laughs> stress, stress, stress. Let's have a soothing light. 
Move, somebody moves. Okay, it looks like Stormhawk's gonna fill. Okay, Storm will build. Storm Stormhawk will build. Okay, we'll be we'll be starting here. Crimson Wolf Zero with the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate that. See? Well, that's going crazy. Going crazy. Ready? Are our builders ready? We have signage. We have banker sign, merchant sign, stable sign, small outfit sign, and large outfit sign. Techno Geek says, how much does it cost to buy all the furnishings? A lot. I mean, these were 12k each, and I didn't actually see the price on the small one. I think the small one is 5k. Yeah, it's 5. Okay, thank you. Okay, our builders are ready. Our builders are ready. No, I feel bad about the builder not being able to show up. That's okay. Okay, we're starting in t 10 seconds. Starting in 10. Starting in 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and go! Go! <laughs> there we go. We have 30 minutes on the clock on bottom of the, the screen there. So, we'll, we'll hold to that. Ah, that's, that's okay. Okay, so we have our three contestants building for us today. Let me... I think I had information about some of them. Okay, we have... We have Devil Doggett here building for us for the first time. Devil Doggett is a decorator for hire. They have several clients. Some of these clients have decorated three to four houses each for them. I love decorating... Oh, I love the decorating aspect of ESO. I do wish that the base game had more possibilities for decorating that didn't require add-ons. My aspiration is to be one of the most well-known decorators in ESO. Well, here you go, Devil Dog Yet. You know, we have uh, tons of people watching right now, so here you go. One of the best known, one of the best known yeah. decorators is Devil Dog Yet. Come, come be a, a regular on this show. We'll definitely get your name out there. Devil Dog Yet. Devil Dog Yet. Devil Dog Yet. Though, though, unfortunately, sadly, I will be having to change the format of Live Electric Showdown going forward after this next couple weeks. Because it's going to get to repeats from that we already did from last year. So we'll be we'll be doing some things with furnishings and the luxury. But we'll be maybe using it for more practical types of furnishings. So I still want to see people being using these new luxury things. So might be some changing some of that. But yeah, I'll be continuing to host these sorts of quick build decorating contests here on the channel. So good luck, good luck, Devil Doggett. And our next contestant is Blind Guardian, who I don't know if they sent me information because <laughs> been been busy today. I think they might not have. No wait. Nope, something different. Blind Guardian is amazing. Blind Guardian has been building for us the last couple weeks. If you want to go see Blind Guardian's builds, we do catalog all of those on the website at spicyeconomics.com. If you want to go check out Blind Guardian's previous builds, last week built an excellent Thanksgiving dinner for us at a Clockwork Bells. The previous One of the previous weeks, they built a big gentleman's club out of pheasant carcasses and bearskin tables and things like that. So that Blind Guardian has been very good here. Has actually won before. I might I might have missed the intro. <laughs> good luck, Blind Guardian. And our third builder here, filling in for us, is Stormahawk, the co-guild leader of Spicy Economics. And amazingly talented decorator does have the super spicy island at her primary, her Grand Topal hideaway island retreat with all the tumble stations and lots and lots of fun creative twists and turns around around her build. Things to discover on on her island. Not not for the faint of heart. So good luck Stormahawk. Again you can see all of her previous builds on the website spicyeconomics.com as well. So tons of screenshots, pictures there. You can also see a bunch of other videos that I've done on the 
for contests and things that are all embedded up there. So if you ever want to check that out, check out previous housing things that we've done, all up there on the website. <laughs> Quaxi says, Pen Island is amazing. Why? It's a spicy island or Stormhawks Island. It's not Pen Island. Why does everybody keep calling it Pen Island? There aren't any pens there at all. <laughs> Rex Moon says, Have you heard Blind Guardian's cover of Surfing USA? I have not. Oh, I have to look that up. And we have our three, maybe our three judges. Whoa, where? Where am I at? Where am I at? We have our three judges. We have Ninja Monkey 0169. Go follow him again if you have not. He does stream. He's our housing mancer. Ninja Monkey, how have you been? What's what have you been up to? Tremendous, man. We're uh, doing the Undaunted stuff right now on, oh, on the stream. So, you know, people can join us over there on the Twitch. And Do you have enough characters for it? Oh, yeah. I got 15. Oh, good, good. Yeah, on, on this account. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we got, some, we got some stuff going on. Did you get anything? Did you get anything good out of them? Uh, nothing particular yet. But, you know, fingers crossed. The event's still young. Also, well, we, already, we already picked up our feather. We had, we had spare... Spare stuff from uh, last event. Okay, I'm up. I'm up to nine. I have nine. Well, I did buy. I bet I bought an extra feather last week. So that's that's why I have nine. Been working back up towards it. Though I don't know if the extra feather is going to do me any good. <laughs> that sounds yeah, great. Like I, like I think you can buy multiple mounts, right? I don't know. We'll we'll find out. Now, the interesting thing about this is that you can walk across the top of these signs. The chains don't have collision, so that's actually kind of cool. You can make this weird kind of swingy barrier under you. Also, you can walk up, like if you if you turn the whole sign flat, you can walk on uh, the air, but not the sign itself. Oh yeah, I see that. Because because the swing animation actually gives it like a like a glass surface in front. Okay. Oh yeah, I see that. I see that. Um, let me actually turn my combat off so you can see that a little bit better. Yeah, so you can just kind of like walk on the top of it, kind of floating up a little bit. That's kind of cool. You could sink that in a little bit and make a whole skating rink out of them. So good luck to our contestants here. And let's see, we have our second judge here is Swankery. Swankery here. Hi. Swankery, welcome. Welcome. Hey. Our amazing judge from the Divine Design Alliance Guild. How are you doing, Swankery? I'm I'm doing pretty good. Doing good. I uh I I melted my computer this week and I just got everything downloaded. I don't have my add-ons or anything, but I just got my do everything downloaded just in time on a new computer. Oh <gasps> my gosh. No add-ons. Did... I know it's it's weird. Did did you lose a lot? Eh, but I I haven't I haven't really I haven't really checked into that yet. <laughs> How okay. much I've lost. <laughs> I, that does not sound like a fun ordeal. No, no. Well, actually, I thought that my apartment was on fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> At first, I was like, "What's that smell?" And then my computer shut off. Um, yeah. Well, that could've been worse but... then. So. <laughs> yeah, everybody's safe. <laughs> so. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Computer's not. But... Oh, let's see. Kitty Bitty was asking, why buy an extra feather? Well, if they keep this up, or you can maybe keep getting feathers and more Indrix, then that might save some time down the road. I don't think they'll really make it where you can really get ahead, but we'll see. We'll see. So, thank you. Welcome, Swankery. And, oh no, Lisa Terra's here. Oh no. That's okay. We'll get you another, another time. And our third ju judge here is Wubin, guild leader of Divine Design Alliance. Welcome, Wubin. Hope you're here. Wubin. Sometimes he has muting issues. Wubin is here in How about spirit. Now? Can you Wubin is here in <clears throat> spirit still, but I can hear him. Wubin, thank good, you good. so much <laughs> for being here, guild leader of Divine Design Alliance. How How is everything with the guild? How is everything with you? All is well. <clears throat> All is well. A little exhausted from the uh, touring for like 100 hours of a bunch of villas. But um, <laughs> I saw you. You did like an eight-hour show with all the villas. That was, that was pretty impressive. 
Yes, yeah, so I, I went to all, well, there for, were 49 submissions at the time. I don't know if that grew since then. But yes, I went to 49 Grand Civic Villas from the Divine Design Alliance Guild for the Villa Stravaganza. If, if you want to go see those, I did upload those to YouTube. Hey, I even, I even cl clipped out the parts for our... I took a little break, so it's a little bit more condensed. It's only like seven and a half hours. Only like seven and a half... So that's like seven and a half hours of pure decoration inspiration that you can go see. So that was, that was amazing. To go, to <laughs> it was go amazing. See. You, It was fun. You're a trooper. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was fun looking at the villas. Just, you know, just seeing how different everybody is, you know? Yes. Yeah, so, yes, there are were so many different takes on it. I saw so many amazing decorating like tricks as a, as I was going through so many great ways of using various furnishings and yeah, really good takes on it. So I was impressed it was, and it was great fun too. So thank you everybody. Money Shot says, whoops, is, well, Money Shot's been out of the loop. <laughs> now whoops is a great guild leader of Divine Design Alliance. So thank you Wubin for being here. It's and amazing. Thank you, Swankery, and thank you, Ninja Monkey, for lending us your housing expertise here tonight. So thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay, we are at 20 minutes remaining. 10 minutes are gone. 30 minutes does go by quickly. Okay, we have... Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say uh, a little disappointed that uh, um, the plans, the furniture plans aren't dropping out of the boxes. Oh yeah, so so this has been kind of an interesting last year where the Undaunted Celebration event is on, and last year, kind of to everybody's surprise, Clockwork City furnishing plans were dropping from the Undaunted event. So it did crater the prices on the Clockwork plans, but it was the primary source of them for like the rest of the year. Like <laughs> the chances of actually getting a Clockwork plan, like a purple one from Clockwork City is incredibly low, incredibly low. So no furnishing plans in the Undaunted reward boxes this year from any type, not Mark Meyer or Somerset or anything like that. So that is a little bit, a little bit different. Whoopin is disappointed. I'm, I'm okay with it. I, they actually added quite a few cool items to the Undaunted loot table. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't need any of the plans, but I, mean, I know people out there were kind of hoping. You know? Yeah, I know, I know. I what, need what, all what the plans for Merkmeyer. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Ninja. Yeah. What are they added? They've added any furnishings? Surprisingly, I haven't seen any furnishings. Uh, but they have a lot of pets, and they also did add single houses, as far as I can tell. Somebody was talking about how they got a Hackfield's high hall out of a out of one of them, or so there are like. Maybe you can get a Grand Temple Hideaway, or there is there is the grand prize, which is to win like one of every single mount that's ever been released in the game. So that's that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. But, I did say that. I mean, I've, I've barely paid attention, but I'm I'm aware of like five houses being found. So that's pretty. Five. Impressive. Oh wait, wait. Can you tell me more about those? What which ones have been uh, found? The two hall uh, have lock halls and pariahs. Pariahs. The ones that yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Rex Mundi with the resub and a. I don't know if I should play this. We'll do it. We'll do it. Thank you for your support, Rex. I'm scared. It's not working on my browser, actually. Um. Well, there we go. Oh, it's like nine minutes long. <laughs> Thank you, Rex Mundi. Thank you, thank you. Some sort of a musical compilation there. It's nine minutes, 35 seconds long that Rex Mundy linked. That's okay. Linked to a song by Rush. Okay, okay, okay. It's a, it's a long, long song. Thank you for your support. Uh, as a sub, you can mess with my lights and you can use all the spicy moo emotes. So definitely encourage you to do that. And have some fun with it. Make everything say moo. Give some things some flaming wings. Let's see. Let's check in on our, our builders here. See what they've actually been building. So we did give them a bit of a, we'll call it a challenge piece. If this is not challenging enough, we did add the Nord lamp post here. Okay, so we have, we have the signs. 
We have the stable sign, the banker sign, and the merchant sign, as well as these new outfit banners. A large banner and a small banner. The small one's pretty small, bright yellow. Let's see, we have Stormahawk, who is making some sort of a serpentine dragon. That looks pretty nice so far. Keep it up, Storm. <laughs> it kind of... I like how it has a bit of movement, kind of like its scales are moving here. So, maybe make maybe making some use of the movement of all the signs, because they do swing a little bit. Looking good. Keep it up. Keep adding those details. We have... We have Blind Guardian, who is making a... Structure. You know, you know, it's... It kind of feels like bullhorns to me, you know? I'm maybe getting a little bit of a horns vibe out of this. I don't know if that's what it is. But if it's that, kudos, kudos. You, you know, you know how I love them bullhorns. Moo. No. We'll see. <laughs> I I think there's some something wrong with this this guy's blood circulation though. Their hand seems to be pulsing in a really abnormal way. <laughs> this kid he adorable. Aw. Amos says almost as much as I love shrooms. Well, that one's hard to top. And we have Devil Doggett, who is making, has been making, some sort of a house so far. Kind of, kind of empty inside so far. Maybe, maybe could have like a castle effect here with these kind of gaps between. Hard to tell, hard to tell. Still adding details using the signs kind of as pavers outside. Have a nice lapse out here. Very fun. And, oh, we're at less than halfway done. 14 minutes left. Some of these builds kind of remind me of, uh, you know, how you'd make um, houses or castles out of uh, playing cards? Yes, yes. I, it's that same feel. It does. It definitely does. And <laughs> considering that these are already moving themselves, kind of kind of feels like it could all come tumbling down. Ah, uh, he said moo. Moo. No. Bing. Bing. <laughs> Drinking game. <laughs> Drink every time I say moo. <laughs> oh, I said it again. Have fun, kids. Have fun, kids. I kind of like the new signs. The outfit signs. Yeah, let me look at these. Okay, so if you if you didn't get these, these are on the luxury vendor right now. Okay, so we have we have the three from last year: the stable sign, merchant sign, banker sign. These are each twelve k. And then we have the outfit banner, the large outfit banner, it's 12,000 gold. And we have the small outfit banner, which is 5,000 gold. So, hey, they're kind of pretty. Good yellow color to them. They do move a bit in... <laughs> Looking at a stack of them does not really convey the movement here. <laughs> this is a whole bunch of them stacking on top of each other. Let, let me try to isolate one. They, they they look a bit more natural if you just have one. It's kind of blowing in the wind a bit. Okay, continuing to add details here. Now with the outfit station, it is functionally the same as like the die station so i suppose you can just put this above your die station in your home if you actually wanted to designate it or kind of draw visitor attention to it though i think people may just end up using this as a nice bright colorful banner that isn't related to the dominion so i i think though there will be uses for this so uh, I was wondering how many people got the snow globe since it's uh, reasonably priced. Oh, yes, yes. So that is now available, just added, where you can get... Oh, it's just a classic home. Enchanted snow globe home is available. 
It's for 4,200 crowns unfurnished, and I believe 5,250 furnished. I'm getting it next week. You're getting it next week? Oh, that's exciting. No, I, I think it's fun. And the cool thing about it is if you actually go over to East March, you can find it on the table here. And if you go into it, you shrink down into it. So it's kind of kind of a fun effect. I love that part. <laughs> yeah, I'll be getting it. I'll be getting it right after this, since I finally got to be logged in again. Oh, great, great. So. Sounds fun. And so the the furnishing pack too. Like, there's a lot of those things can be found uh, in the new in the furniture tool. But the, there's a new um, provisioning station in the pack. Oh yeah, uh, I saw that. It, yeah, that's exciting. It was this this winter festival hearth fire is a cooking station, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, cool. and it's not ugly like the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of other fun things that come with this this new life festival furnishing pack too. So like cookies, I mean it it literally comes with cookies. I mean you can't you can't get yeah, angry about that. Cookies. And guar. guar cookies, imperial cookies, and a rubber's cookies. They're so good. <laughs> they they look they look tasty. Oh yeah, I, I didn't I didn't even see the little guar cookies. Oh my gosh, with the low green frosting. I know they're so adorable. Oh. And then ladles of crunch berries for some reason. Oh yeah, that looks delicious. It looks chunky. It's a little chunky if it's supposed to be punch. Very pretty actually with the silver and the bow and everything though. Yeah, they, they added a lot of fun things. It's the whole like little snow argonian and the snow khajiit ah it's just so adorable anyway anyway a lot, a lot of good fun stuff in there then the pack okay good luck to our builders we're approaching nine minutes remaining <laughs> take a plate of nachos <laughs> that's what we need we need like a, a tailgate furnishing pack Techno suit says, I'm going to get that one for my palace to make the stove functional. I mean, that's what it maybe takes. Just make a functional fireplace and people will show up and want it. All right, good luck. We're at less than nine minutes. As our builders continue with the live luxury showdown challenge here. 30 minutes to make something out of nothing but the latest luxury furnishings plus... As a bonus, we do have this Nord, Nord lap post. Did, uh, did I hear that EHT is soon going to be doing water and cloud effects? That's right. Yep. Oh, You're right. Yeah. Also, coming up, coming up in a new patch. I think it's uh, today. <clears throat> well, how will that work? You'll you'll just have no to idea. tune into Echovis channel to check it out with the rest <laughs> of us, because the guess. rest of us don't know either. You said you said cloud effects and weather effects. Water, what did you say? Water. And water. Effects. From the Essential Housing Tools Guild, or from the Essential Housing Tools add-on, right? Add-on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's the Essential Housing Tools add-on. It does everything. I mean, is that fair to say that it does everything in housing? I mean, close to it. That's my. It, it, it is mean... your one-stop shop for housing add-ons. <laughs> Seven and a half minutes remaining. So, and if you come up with something else, we we know the guy who makes it, so he'll probably add it in if it's cool. Yeah. So that's yeah, Cardi's by... really responsive. Cardinal zero five is the add-on developer for that, and it's amazing. And genius, genius keeps adding more and more to the essential housing tools add-on. Let's see you, you know, I have it here. Adds grids. Adds ways to make. Geometric shapes adds ways to program animations, and apparently we'll get water and cloud effects. And I have no clue how that's going to work, but man, it sounds exciting. It does I need to actually configure this at some point and have some fun with it? Make a shroom. Yeah, I, uh, the only thing I've, I've, I've he uh, he had a video that was showing it um, before that when he was just messing around with it, and then it looks like you like if you make a tank or something, right? But I'm not real sure. We'll have to watch. Oh, okay. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh, do, no, let's see. Dubet says you can buy the fire separately from the housing editor store if that's all you wanted. Wait, is it available? It is. Oh, okay. Okay. 
I'm sorry, I must have said said that wrong. Oh, that worked. Is it? <laughs> and, and then the uh, crafting, where you buy the crafting tables? Or... Should show up under services. Oh, it is here. Crafting. Winter Festival Hearthfire. Wow, 27. Wow, they don't, they're not messing around with that. 2,700 crowns just to buy that one individually. Hey, maybe you can pick yourself up a cute little Khajiit. <laughs> Snowman. I mean, it ends up. This ends up being most of the cost of the pack. Oh well. Boo. At least you can you can save it. If you're only buying it for that, then you could just buy that individually. Okay, Stormhawk continuing to dress up the flying dragon thingy. And Devil Doggett continuing to add to this. Ooh, even adding a little wing to this building. Fun, fun. Now you walk up to this building and you look for the sign to see what type of building it is. And you're like, wait, is it a, is it a, is it a stable? Is it a bank? Is it some sort of a merchant? Is it, is it full of outfit stations? I just don't know. And then you walk in, it's like, oh, it's whatever you imagine it to have inside of it. So, <laughs> we just look for those little signs, or in this case, large signs, to see what house actually functions as. <laughs> Rex Mindy says, it's like Snowman by Calvin. Yeah, it kind of has that feel to it. Kind of like a, kind of a cute feel to it. Oh, it's just so adorable. Why'd they make them so adorable? Ah, oh, can't resist. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I can resist. <laughs> Too bad the bear rug is also pretty expensive to get separately. <laughs> it costs like 1k to craft. Okay, we're at four minutes remaining. Ooh, this was clever. Don't buy Devil Dog Get using this Nord lamp post, just using it as a structural piece to place a sign in between here. It's one thing that you can do with furnishings. You can turn them upside down, you can use them in different ways. Be creative with it. Let's see, we have... Okay, what has this turned into? Hey, those, those Nord lampposts actually do put out a little bit of light. It's, uh, it's enough to light these signs up. Now, I think I see fingers here. I think... I think... So, yeah. It also does snow and fireflies. Yeah, it, that part what I'm excited about. Definitely the fireflies. Definitely the fireflies. Um, yeah, just watch the YouTube video on it. I tried to link it, but it won't let me link in your channel. Um, yeah. Wait, wait. I can do that for you. One sec, one sec, Ninja. You know what I can do for ya? It's a new function. Ninja Monkey 0169. There you go, Ninja. Try it again. Try it again. Wait, no? Didn't work? It's, no. supposed, it's supposed to work. I've made you a oh, VIP. It probably, it probably won't take effect until you uh, uh, relog. Ah, dang it. Dang it. Sorry. You're a VIP That's for next time. Okay, well, let me let me link it to you in, in Discord here, and then you can put it up. Boom. Okay, thank you, thank you. It's like 2 minutes, 30 seconds or something like that. He shows you how to use the add-on to make these new effects. It's pretty epic. Okay, great. Wow, Cardinal 05, quick essential effects. Oh, how the heck? I don't. I don't even want to think about what it took to make something like this. <laughs> He's just been slowly digging through the code, man. So how they just need to turn over housing to Card Cardinal. I, th that's, I think that's so. Much it. Oh, Heck yeah. Oh man, I don't. I don't know. I'm. I'm looking at it. I'm. I'm skipping through it. I. I don't want to think about how amazing this is. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, dude, so I've been crying for fireflies since day one of housing, and now it's not even going to be Zos giving it to us. It's an add-on. What? You know, you know. I, I realized. Oh, we're at. Let's. We're at almost a minute left. 
I realized something. This thumb is extended. As far as I know, this is a sign language for love, right? Right? This, this isn't bullhorns. This isn't bullhorns. This is love. As in, I love me some bullhorns. We'll see. We'll see what Blind Guardian says this is at the end here. We have less than a minute left. One minute's remaining. One minute's oh, remaining. I thought it was one of those hand turkeys. I think he's saying hook of horns. Hook them. Oh, oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Everybody is looking at Cardi's video. Thinking it's amazing. I know, I know. Yeah, my, my mom and I used to do that to each other. So. I'll say Stormhawk continues to put on the details on the dragon. Double dog get continues to add to the bank staple merchant vault. Ooh, I like the details with the little outfit banners there. Cool. And we have Blind Guardian with a loving type of bullhornsy hand. It looks like a hand. Pretty sure it is. And we're at five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and it is over. No, oh, it goes by fast. <laughs> man, man. Tough week. I, I'm actually really, really impressed that our builders were able to make use of these moving pieces, and they're kind of small. Man, good job, good job. Oh, I said moo. Drink. <laughs> okay, we will... Okay, we'll ask our contestants what they've each made, and then we will gawk at them and see all how they were able to do this in 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, they did, they did amazing. Okay, and then we'll get a good look at this. Okay, so we'll, we'll take a look at all of our three builds, and then we'll ha have our judges pick a winner here okay so we have devil doggett who has made a castle with a tower a rock path and a banker sign okay so so a bit of a scene here so we have a rock path using these nord lamp posts we have a tower or we have a castle with a tower on the side Ooh, i did like the tower on the side And it was placing these kind of so there's like these little gaps so you can like shoot down at people with your little arrows so or be protected from the people shooting up at you so good castle effect there tower over here beautiful beautiful and a super fancy banker sign here nice and dressed up They're really fun Okay, and then we have Blind Guardian, who says <laughs> it's a 3D rock-out hand sign made out of signs. Okay, so so it is rock-out. Rock, rock in it. I love a rock. That's what it is. <laughs> no. Let's see. Where, where, where am I? Where am I? Where, he said no. Where am I? No. Moves at. Ah, I oh know I lost it. Where are they at? There are my horns. There are my horns. And Twitch chat. Okay, rocking it out. Rocking it. Looks great, Blind Guardian. I mean, you could tell instantly what this was. Good hand with the downturn fingers. I like the downturn fingers in the middle there. That's actually really good use of these lamps that were provided. Good news. Good news? I found the butt. The, the hand has a butt? No, the next one. <laughs> and our third build here is Stormahawk, who made a Wind Serpent Dragon Eel. This is, uh, this, this is giving me a little bit of inspiration. This is kind of fun. I, I do I like... like 
Now, what, like once, she started, oh, she started putting the signs down uh, normal, and then she figured, nope, nope, turn them sideways, that'll give you the serpent effect. And then she alternated the swinging direction. Oh, so, so yeah, so it's kind of going, it's not just placing them in a row, it's it was flipping them so that they... Yeah. She, she went into a bunch of detail, and then the fins are like a whole other thing. Oh, yeah, and these outfits, I mean, they're colorful, for one thing, and they look, they look pretty cool. So, really, good. let me get a good outward view of that, get all of it in there. And we even have eyes in the front end. You said there was a butt. You said there was a butt? Oh, yeah, there's definitely a butt. Oh, we have oh, a my gosh. big, big tail butt back here. I, I like big butts, I cannot lie. Big, wavy butts. Just waving right at you. Yep, see that thing. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> no, no real collision on these yellow ones, but <laughs> delicious. Says I, I love. I, oh, I approve of the I love you ASL sign. Okay, that works too. <laughs> love you, love you. Yeah, okay. this one has a lot of movement. Okay, so great builds from all three of our builders. Really tough week. I I didn't, you know, I was skeptical that they could make good use out of out of the builds this week. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to head into our scoring. I think I think our judges are already doing that. Where our judges are going to whisper me who they think is number one, number two, and number three. Given given the time constraint, thirty minutes is hard to work with, and this is a lot of furnishings to work with and manipulate, and you know, come up with a concept. In 30 minutes, I mean, they didn't even know what these were going to look like before this. So, man, and and I I didn't tell anybody about these Nord lamps except for the people on Twitch for like 10 minutes before we started. So, yeah, that kind of kind of a hard hard week. Okay, so as our as our judges whisper me who they think did number one, number two, number three. Everybody that's in Twitch chat. Put M O O in the Twitch chat. That spells Moo, and I oh, said Moo again. Oh, I said Moo again. Oh my! Oh, Moo, 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 Moo. Okay, and our... we'll do some giveaways. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We'll... Don't we'll... overmoo it. Oh, I, I, I always overmoo it. And at the end, we'll do some prize drawings for a bunch of furnishing packs for all for all of these furnishings. So that will be a bonus here for our Twitch Twitch chat. Thank you everybody for being here. And then. I'm getting my scores in. Okay, we have... Okay, we have... We have... Okay, we have We have our judges have whispered me. So, if you're on you're on the PCNA server, keep putting MOO in Twitch chat to qualify. And we'll do our prize drawings and then we'll move on to our housing hike afterwards. Okay, so we have... Our... Live Luxury Showdown, number 44. This is our 44th week... 44th week doing Live Luxury Showdown. So many cool things that have happened here. It's exciting. It's exciting. So much creativity. Okay. Our winner of Live Luxury Showdown, number 44, will it be Blind Guardian with the Rock Out Love Hand? Will it be Devil Doggett with the Sign Castle? Love the castle. Love the castle. And these little the little stone path out here. It's going fun. Good use of these. <laughs> Just using the, the very, very tippy top circle. Or will the winner be Stormahawk with the Flying Dragon? And the winner of Live Luxury Showdown number 44 and a whole big furnishing pack. Our winners always get a big furnishing pack. Our winner is... Stormahawk with the dragon. Woo, dang. Congrats, Good Storm. job. Congrats, congrats. All three were great. Judges, any last thoughts here? Um, Again, Stormahawk, very, very impressive. Coming in at the last minute as a substitute and uh, pulling this uh, awesome sea serpent or air serpent, maybe. Yes. Out of the bag. Looks amazing. It is, it is amazing. It's really good. Okay. Great, great source of inspiration. Thank you so much, Storm. Thank you, thank you, Storm. Thank you to our judges. Thank you to our other builders. I think they did really great to, here too. So thank you, thank you, Blind Guardian. Thank you, Devil Doggett. Thank you to our judges. 
Thank you, Swinkery. Thank you, Wubin. Thank you, Ninja Monkey 0169 You're amazing. You are amazing. Appreciate you. Oh, and one more amazing, please, for Wubin. Good job, all. Amazing. You're amazing. All amazing. So Thanks. amazing. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Super amazing. And say Moo again. No, why would I ever say that? <laughs> and right, talk to you guys later. Thanks for having us. Thank you, thank you, and thank you everybody in Twitch chat. So you know, I hope this has been inspirational. You can do a lot with a housing editor in the Elder Scrolls Online. So get your hands on some fun furnishings, and if you like these particular ones this weekend, these are the signs or 12k each or 5k for this little that fitting banner. So available only this weekend. End of, end of November, and then it'll be gone for a year, then you'll have to wait until you can get them again. So, have fun with housing, have fun with ESO, and stay spicy. Moo.